brining pork chops three different ways. What's really nice about using pork is that it absorbs flavor and it's almost like a blank canvas and you can bring to it what you want. I'm doing a regular salt brine, I'm doing an Asian brine, and then I'm doing a buttermilk brine. And I'm gonna brine the pork chops and then I'm gonna grill them and we're gonna see which one we like the best. About four hours before, or even overnight, you can start brining the pork chop. And when you put it in the marinade, just make sure it's really well covered. I'm just preparing the corn, which will cook on the grill and go alongside the pork chops. A little bit of butter, some pepper and salt, and then wrapping them in the in the aluminum foil which onto the grill. Pop them on here to roast. I just parboiled these little mini lovely potatoes. I'm going to cut, cover them in a little bit of olive oil. With salt, chives. And put those on this. Now I'm going to take them out and get them ready to go onto the grill. Just take it out of the brine, pat it off with some kitchen paper. Because of the salt in the brine, I'm just going to put a little bit of pepper on it and that's ready for the, the grill. And I'm just going to pop it on at the back, like that. Rather than drying it off, I'm just going to put it straight onto the grill as is. It smells so good the buttermilk brine and again like the salty regular brine just dab it off a little bit to dry off. I'm just going to turn over the chops. So I'm going to turn off the heat and just close the lid and just let them cook for a few more minutes just to make sure that the meat is thoroughly cooked through. You want to let it rest for at least five minutes. Pop a little lid on it. So it's beautifully cooked. It smells so delicious. Just chop up some fresh parsley. The squirt of the extra lemon juice. Do a little bit of rice. A little bit of extra chives on it. The three pork chops cooked three different ways. The first one is brined in buttermilk with some hot sauce and some lemon and bay leaves and some garlic. The second one is more of an Asian, more of a marinade than a brine, but it had soy sauce and hosin sauce, um, some brown sugar, garlic again. And then the last one was garlic, water, peppercorns, lots of salt. That was more like a traditional brine. It came out perfectly and you get the perfect, juiciest, most delicious pork chop every time.